So, okay. Good day, students. So, this is our uh, first discussion in Management 111. Uh, our topic is Fundamentals of Management. So, in this module, we will, uh, you will learn the definition of management, identify the functions of management, and apply the different theories of management into real life situations. Okay, so let's define management. Management is the process of reaching organizational goals by working with a group with and through people and other organizational resources and has the following characteristics. It is a process or series of continuous and related activities. It involves and con concentrates on reaching organizational goals and it strives for organizational goals by working with and through people and other organizational resources. So management, through management, uh, yun nga, sabi dyan, uh, you are working with other people to attain your Goals. Okay, so kailangan mo makip uh, coordinate, makip uh, makip uh, mag work with other people para maatin yun yung iisang goal na gusto niyo maachieve. Okay, so yan yung management. So let's define cost. It's a primary concern for consumers. So managers must never fail to address this to be compet competitive. So the balance to gain profit and remain affordable to clients is compulsory for business organizations. So yung cost or yung price, mahalaga yan kasi uh, yan yung uh, pinaka tinitignan ng mga consumers. Kung yung presyo ba ng isang produkto ay uh, sapat sa kanya or hindi. Baka kasi mamaya nag-overprice ka. So minsan, uh, kailangan mo ding uh, i-check yung mga uh, presyo or yung cost ng iyong, ng iyong mga competitors, di ba? So, nasa sa'yo kung mag, ano, ibababa mo ba or itataas yung, yung uh, uh, price. Next is innovation is the introduction of new products and services. With latest technologies and wide access to different social media platforms, this competitive advantages aspect is growing at the same pace. Managers should keep abreast of the latest technologies as innovation is, is expected to intensify with globalization. So, ngayon sa atin, sa in real world, so, kailangan talaga natin mag-innovate. So, hindi na kasi uso yung stagnant ka lang. Dapat uh, nag-i-improve ka in a certain way, di ba? So, si manager, naghahanap siya or uh, nagsisearch siya kung paano niya i-improve yung kanyang uh, trabaho. Okay? When it comes to technology, paano, paano ba siya matutulungan ng technology? Di ba? Kasi yung innovation, andyan yung use ng technologies natin. So, dapat sumasabay ka dyan. Next is quality. Quality is defined as the ability of a product or service to meet customer needs. So, al al alam natin, yung quality is napakahalaga pagdating sa isang item. So, tinitignan din yan ng ating mga kliyente. Okay? So, syempre, bibili ka ng isang bagay na alam nila na tatagal, na magagamit mo ng matagal. So, ang hirap kasi bumili ng uh, hindi quality kasi dun yung tendency na gastos ka ng gastos. Kasi nga, mabilis masira. So, uh, our customers are looking for quality products. Okay? Next is service. is an in intrinsic requirement for all customers as they need to have what they want when they need it. Most of us have our own experience of moving out of long queues in service establishment to go elsewhere. So, managers know that it is a loss of income for their business. So, sa service, uh, importante siya in managing your business. Kasi, uh, uh, mostly kasi sa mga kliyente natin, uh, bago mo sila, bago sila bumili ng isang item, kailangan i-demo mo muna kung paano nila, kung paano nila gagamitin yan. So, yun yung mga, ano yan, yung tinutukoy dyan. So, example pa din natin yung mga customer service, di ba, from uh, different, ano, uh, BPO, Diba? Yung call center. 
So, yan kasi, uh, nag-a-assist sila ng mga customers kung paano gagamitin yung isang bagay. So, yan yung uh, example na pwede ipot mo dyan sa service. Okay? Next is naman is yung speed. Appears to be the buzzword of this millennium. Fast food outlets, internet search engines, and automated teller machines are among the more familiar developments. So, eto, yung speed, best example nito is sa atin, sa bansa natin, is yung internet connection. Aware tayo sa internet connection ng Pilipinas is sobrang bagay. Diba? So, dito as a uh, manage as a manager we're looking for uh, something na makakatulong sa ating mga kliyente to satisfy their needs kasi ang ang 'di ba ang internet connection na hindi na lang siya once kundi needs na siya kasi uh, uh, it help us para i-search or makipag uh, communicate sa ibang ano sa mga Uh, ano natin sa mga friends natin or sa mga kamag-alak natin na sa malayo. So, ma mahalaga siya then sa searching engine, di ba? So, pag may kailangan kang i-search na lugar, na product, di ba? Uh, through internet connection. So, yan. So, yun yung example lang ng speed. So, yung pinag-uusapan yung speed. Kung gano'n ba natin ah uh, uh, I, gano'n ba kabilis yung um, ikaw as a manager, paano ka kabilis mag-adapt uh, mag ng bagong innovations? Okay? Next. So, next na natin is yung, next na natin tatakal is yung uh, four basic management functions. So, nandiyan, number one is planning. This involves choosing tasks that must be performed to attain organizational goals, to outline how the tasks must be performed, and to indicate when they should be performed. Planning activity focuses on, focuses on attaining goals and managers outline exactly what organizations should do to be successful. It is also concerned with the success of the organization in the short term as well as in the long term. So, planning. So, mahalaga siya in uh, management. Kasi, Diba, uh, uh, magsiset ka, dito kasi magsiset ka pa lang ng goals mo. Diba? Then, kung paano mo siya maa-attain. So, gagawa ka ng mga steps kung paano mo maa-attain yung isang goal na yun. So, through planning, uh, kailangan mo mag-iset ng bagay or ways para ng, ng different strategies para maa-attain mo yung goal na yun. So, whether it's short term or long term. Pero hindi to yung katulad ng ano ha, no, 'di ba? Pag minsan kasi pag pinaplano daw mas hindi na natu di natutuloy. Parang ano siya, 'di ba? Reverse psychology. Pero uh, dito sa business kailangan pinagpaplanuhan natin yung mga gagawin natin bago tayo gumawa ng isang decision. Okay? So next, organizing. So, organizing involves the act of assigning the tasks developed in the planning stages to various individuals or groups to create a mechanism to put plans into action. So, organizing. Uh, kung baga, sa isang, uh, sa isang department, mag-a-assign ka kung sino yung uh, tatayo doon, yung tatao doon, okay? yung mag-handle doon. Para alam mo kung sino yung lalapitan mo when it comes, kunyari, may problema sa accounting, may problema sa uh, sa purchasing, sa procurement. So, alam mo kung sino yung hahanapin mo. ba? Diba? So, nag-a-assign ka ng trabaho at ng tao doon sa certain uh, position na yun. So, yun lang yung best example. Then, influencing. Influencing is also known as motivating, leading, or directing by guiding the activities of organization members towards the fulfillment of the goals. So, influencing, uh, isa siya sa functions ng management. Kasi kung aware kayo sa mga business individuals, yung mga popular individuals, di ba? si Jack Ma, di ba? isa siyang influence, influencer sa business, di ba? So, minsan, yung mga nagtatayo pa lang ng business or yung mga managers natin, uh, ginagawa, uh, gina, uh, tawag to, uh, pinabasa nila or uh, tawag to, sinireresearch nila yung 
naging part ni Jack Ma kung paano siya naging successful, ba? Diba? May mga ganun. So, uh, nag-aano tayo. Parang ginagamit natin yung mga ideas nila para mas ma-motivate and mas ma-attain natin yung goals natin. ba? Diba? Okay, next is controlling. Controlling is both a manager, managerial function and a continuous process where the manager performs the following roles. So, gathers information that measures performance, compares present performance to pre-established performance norms, and determines the next action plan and modifications for meeting the desired performance parameters. So, controlling. Uh, as a manager, ikaw yung uh, ikaw yung mag-handle sa mga ganong ano uh, scenario. So sa lahat ng decision ikaw. So tiba nga nag ano na tayo nag staffing na. Ah, mis mention na ba yung staffing hindi pa pala. So nag organize ka na kung sino yung de ba kung sino yung mga assigned persons doon sa isang department. Ah uh, sila i-inform kanila kung ano yung naging problema. Diba? As a manager, ikaw pa rin yung mag-co-control. Ikaw pa rin yung magde-decision kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin. Okay? Next is yung staffing. Some modern management experts also include the function of staffing as an important management practice. Without human resources, no organization can get off the ground. That alone do business and make profits. Staffing is an important function because it puts the right man in the job. It is it is an ongoing activity as employees keep living and joining the company. They also retire from time to time, leaving empty places in various positions. And efficiency is a prime focus of this function as managing people is the toughest job there is. Everything must be accounted for leaves, payments, benefits, medical allowance, social security accounting, and much more. Itong staffing is trabaho to ng human resource, okay? Department, human resource department. So, naghahanap sila ng uh, qualified applicants para doon sa certain position. Dapat related doon sa uh, sa job, di ba? So, kung mapapansin nyo, once kunwari, uh, nag-apply ka sa isang business, sa isang kumpanya, uh, chinecheck nila kung qualify ka ba sa position na yun. Kasi kung hindi, so, yun nga, pwedeng marecheck ka. So, yun yung... Uh, importance ng staffing sa management. Nilalagay ka sa tamang posisyon, okay, ng kumpanya, kung saan ka bagay doon. So, yan yung, ano, factors ng staffing. So, next, dito na tayo sa theories of management. So, okay na tayo sa different functions of management. So, now, let's proceed naman sa mga different theories of management. Okay? So, number one, pre-scientific management periods. Uh, Last ano, 18th century, uh, industrial revolution began, okay? When agricultural societies become more industrialized and urban, this revolution is known for putting on a significant impact on management as a whole. It changed how businesses as well as individuals raise capitals, organize labor and production of goods. Entrepreneurs had access to all the factors of production such as land, labor, and capital. There was to make an effort to combine these factors to achieve a targeted goal successfully. So, so pre-scientific management, 18th century pa lang, diba? na-apply na yung term na management dahil dun sa industry. Ibig sabihin, may mga certain uh, industry na kasi na kailangan i-manage. So, nandiyan yung kailangan, uh, nandiyan, kailangan ng mga managers na i-handle yung isang uh, industry na yun. So, yan. Parang dun siya unang uh, uh, nakilala, diba? Yung term na management. Diyan sa agriculture societies na naging in more industrialized and urban. Okay? Parang kumbaga before... Uh, rural area lang siya. Pero dahil nakitaan siya ng uh, potential na maging uh, capital ng isang lugar, so, yan. Minanage nila. So, nagkaroon sila ng different uh, planning strategies para mas mas ma uh, mas maging effective yung ano nila, plano nila. Okay? So, next naman, uh, under daw sa pre-scientific management period, si Charles Babbage, 1729-1871. Sabi niya, Babbage is known as the patron saint of operations, research, and management science. He is an author of severe, several books 
one of which has been most successful on the economy of machinery and manufacturers, which describe the tools and machinery used in English factories that discuss the economic principles of manufacturing and analyze operations. So, yan. Uh, dito pala sa time ni Charles Babbage na, ano, uh, na-invent na yung mga different machines na magagamit sa isa, pagmamanufacture ng isang product. Okay? So, nakatulong siya up to now. Kasi, di ba, uh, nag-innovate na tayo eh. Technologies na tayo. Kung mapapansin nyo, before, uh, talagang workers lang, tao lang yung gumagawa. By, pero ngayon, by this ano, uh, machineries, mas napapabilis natin yung, uh, yung gawain natin. Okay? So, si Charles Babbage yan. Next is Rob, Robert Owen, 1771 to 1858. So, Owen was a successful Scottish entrepreneur who sold the first seeds of concern for the workers. He was repulsed by the working conditions and poor treatment of the workers in the factories in his homeland. Owen became, uh, uh, became a reformer. So, si, Owen, si Robert Owen pala is, uh, na-discovery naman niya is yung kahalagahan ng mga workers sa isang business. Kasi syempre, aware tayo na pag ikaw mapuput up ng isang business, so kailangan uh, isipin mo din yung sake ng iyong mga trabahador. Okay? So, dito uh, nakita ni Owen yung mga discriminations ng mga factory workers sa kanilang ano, sa kanilang lugar. So, ano uh, ano yung uh, naging indication yan dito sa ngayon? ba Kaya nga nagkaroon tayo ng mga benefits, ba Ng mga allowance. So, dahil dyan sa history na yan. So, kasi ngayon, ang, important, ang importante ngayon is pinaalagaan natin yung mga workers natin. Okay? So, part pa rin siya ng management. Next, sa classical theories. So, number two, classical theories. So, A, scientific management. While the, while the early management era focused heavily on the division of labor and welfare of workers, combined with digital advances in technology, the scientific management era began with engineers applying systematic management practices to management problems. So, dito sa scientific management, sa classical theories, uh, from the word scientific, so, ginamita na siya ng science, di ba? So, Diyan na, nag, uh, dyan na yun, nag, uh, lumabas yung mga different engineers natin para maging uh, systematic ang isang management. Okay? So before kasi doon sa uh, early management era kay La Babbage, di ba, uh, pinag-usapan ng yung labor, division of labor and welfare of workers. Dito naman, na-discover na yung mga uh, different uh, uh, management practices na tinulungan tayo ng mga different engineers natin. Okay? So, dyan pa lang. So, under scientific management, si Frederick W. Taylor, year 1856 to 1915, probably the most famous management pioneer of all is Frederick W. Taylor, the father of scientific management. Okay, so father of scientific management. Taylor believed management's responsibility was in knowing what you want for what you want workers to do and then seeing that they do it in the best and cheapest way. He developed many new concepts such as functional authority. In other words, Taylor proposed that all authority was based on knowledge, not position. In 1911, Taylor published Principles of Scientific Management. So, sabi daw dyan, si Frederick W. Taylor, uh, sabi, uh, mostly daw ang ating mga workers is hindi nagbibase sa kung ano yung alam nila, kundi yung, uh, hindi, hindi sila nagbibase dun sa posisyon nila, kung hindi dun sa mga bagay na alam nilang gawin. Okay? So, Kumbaga, ano, dito sa Fred K. Frederick Taylor, na-discover niya yung mga different skills ng mga workers natin. Kung paano nila ina-apply yung trabaho na yun. Kasi, ano, alam, alam nilang gawin, di ba? So, kaya nila in-apply yung ganung posisyon. So, in our, ano, feel, uh, i-compare natin siya ngayon. So, tama naman talaga. Kasi, di ba nga yung staffing, di ba? 
so functions of management. So in staffing, naghahanap tayo ng qualified applicants para dun sa position. So dito, dito na come up yung idea na yun kay Frederick Taylor. So next, si Henry Fayol, 1841 to 1925. Fayol identified the major elements or functions of management as planning, organizing, command, coordination, and control. Planning and organization received the majority of his attention in his writings. Fayol believed that management could be taught that managerial ability was sorely needed as one move up the ladder and that management was a separate activity applicable to all types of undertakings. Kung mapapansin nyo yung uh, basic function ng management, so, si Henry Fayol pala ang na, na, isa sa mga nag-contribute niyan. Kasi siya yung, uh, yun nga, uh, sinulat niya, di ba? Na si, uh, ang planning and organi organiz organizing daw po is pinaka-importante uh, pagdating sa pagmamanage ng isang business. Di ba? As a manager. Kailangan magplano ka muna. Di ba? At masiguro mo na yung uh, plano na yun is maaating mo. Okay? So, next, si Max Weber. Under systematic pa din to, uh, uh, scientific pa. So, scientific. Si Max Weber, 1864 to 1920. The work of Max Weber runs chronologically parallel to that of Fayol and Taylor. So, connected kay Fayol and Taylor. Weber used the concept of bureaucracy as an ideal organizational ar arrangement for the administration of large-scale organization. His work was not translated into English not until 1947. Weber's cons concept of the best administrative system was actually similar to Taylor's. Some of Weber's essential elements included division of, division of labor and chain of command. He also believed that selection should be based on technical qualifications. Official managers' appointment should be based on qualifications. Managers should not be owners. And impersonal and uniform rules should be applied. So, ito yung... Uh, uh, yung study ni Max Weber is about nga din sa staffing. ba? Hindi ka kasi pwedeng ilagay sa isang posisyon na hindi mo naman alam. Okay? So, kaya may mga qualifications tayo dyan. ba? Kunwari, gusto mo uh, maging uh, tawag dito, gusto mo maging accountant. So, hindi pwedeng uh, maging accountant ka kung ang kinuha mo ay marketing. Dapat related sa course na uh, Related sa course na tinapos mo. Okay? So, like, yan, idea ni Max Weber yan. Okay? So, next na, next na tayo sa different theories. Behavioral theories. So, Hawthorne experiment. Hawthorne or Hawthorne experiment. This is a well-known study which revealed that classical theory is mainly focused on the organization and staff with mechanical perspective concentrated on the point of view of human nature. Importance of individual attitudes and behaviors, methods for managers to motivate employees for improving productivity. So, yan. Ano bang importance na to, ng behavioral theories? Kasi minsan, sabi nila, uh, mas gusto daw nilang ihar yung mga yung mga wala pang experience kasi uh, hindi wala pa daw mga ma, hindi pa daw ma-attitude yan ba kasi fresh pa yan so hindi sila mapagmataas hindi sila mataas maghingi ng uh, rate ng salary rate so parang kumbaga dito chine-check ng ano ng as a managers parang sa management uh, chine-check dito yung attitude na meron sa isang uh, workers ba Kaya nga kung mapapansin nyo, may mga different uh, business institutions uh, na, di ba yung mga, uh, pag ikaw nag stay sa trabaho, kunyari, uh, tumagal ka ng ilang years doon, tumataas yung rate mo. So, kumbaga, yun yung mga naging ways nila para mag-stay doon sa trabaho. Yun doon naman sa tinutukoy ko na, kunwari, pag nag a ka pa lang ng trabaho, mas pinipili nila yung mga fresh grad kesa yung may mga experience na. Kasi yung may mga experience na, matataas na daw yung, ano yan, yung demand niyan. Diba? So, parang dito nakuha yung idea niya. Okay? So, next, uh, be interpersonal 
perspective. So this was proposed by Maslow and MacGregor that provided the basic foundation of the behavioral view on human relations and was further derived from the Hawthorne experimental result showing that the productivity of employees is affected by the interaction and effective at atmosphere of the management that leads to better performance. Yan, si Maslow. Kung aware kayo dun sa hierarchy of needs, yan, si Maslow yan. Kumbaga, sa management, uh, bakit daw ba nagkakaroon, bakit daw ba nagtatrabaho ang isang tao? Siyempre, may mga needs din siya na kailangan niya i-satisfy or i-fulfill. For example, kailangan niya mabuhay, kaya kailangan niya magtrabaho. So, ganyan yung mga ano yan, factors niya sa interpersonal perspective. Um, what's the reason para, di ba, magtrabaho? Okay, so, siya. Tama naman talaga. So, next, quantitative theory. Unlike scientific management that uses systematic approach in solving management problems, quantitative theory establishes relationship amongst quantifiable variables, financial management, inventory valuation, inventory control, production scheduling, human resource planning, of decision-making situations, and facilitates discipline thinking. Decisions are based on data and logic rather than intuition and judgment. So, quantitative theory. Ito, uh, ang ano dito is yung kailangan sa isang business ba ilang ilang empleyado ba ang kailangan mo kasi dapat meron kang ano diyan magsi-set ka lang kunare sa accounting department ilan lang dapat sila so from different department ilan lang dapat ang meron doon so kasi pag nag-exceed ka talo ka kasi syempre sinasahuran mo sila so dapat uh, dito uh, kino-control mo yung manpower mo Diba? So, same sa inventory. So, hindi ka pwedeng mag-store ng mag-store ng mga product. Kasi, mamaya, uh, hindi naman pala totally uh, demand yung item na yon So, ikaw yung malulugi. So, dito yan sa quantitative theory. Pinagbabasihan dyan yung numbers. Okay? So, kaya nga quanti. Okay? Next. Ito naman. So, new theories. So, new theory. So, mga ngayon na yan. So, dito na yan up to now. So, system management theory. System management offers an alternative approach to the planning and management of organizations. So, the system management theory proposes that businesses like the human body consist of multiple components that work harmoniously so that the larger system can function optimally. According to the theory, the success of an organization depends on several key elements, synergy, interdependence, and interrelation between various subsystems. So, system management theory. Kumbaga, ito yung coordination ng mga workers mo. Okay? So, ano, uh, dapat ma-maintain mo yung, ano, kaya sila nagtatrabaho. Diba? Dapat, daw nga, diba? Pag, uh, kailangan, uh, para hindi ka mapagod, kailangan i-enjoy mo yung trabaho ang ginagawa mo. So, parang ganito siya. So, as a business, uh, as a manager, and business na uh, naghahandle ng business parang i-motivate mo yung mga workers mo kaya nagkakaroon diba ng mga uh, incentives diba tapos may mga uh, team ano ano to yung may mga parang team team building diba para at least uh, uh, magkaroon ng communication yung mga employees mo diba magkaisa sila Diba? Para kasi mas malaking effect yun para mas maging harmonious yung business mo. Diba? Ang pangit kasi pag, uh, yun nga, magulo, may away sa isang business, pangit, hindi siya magpo-flow ng tama. So, yun lang yung concern siya sa system management theory. Then, contingency management theory. So, most of the theory stated above manifest solutions to the problems of the management. It clearly shows steps and processes on how to deal with the complications in, on hand. In contingency management theory, academic industry focuses on that adaptation to the environment change and believes that the 
there is no universal solution for the management to solve such conditions since all of management challenges depend on varying circumstances. So it further stresses that the current time would always be a timely situation for the management to handle individual and managerial differences. So contingency plan. Parang contingency plan. If ever na may mangyayari sa isang business mo, sa business mo, so ano, as a manager, ano yung gagawin mo? So dapat meron kang ano, meron kang mga alternatives para ma-solve yung isang problema. So ito kasi ay hindi mo ina-expect na mangyayari. Pero dahil uh, dahil ikaw as a manager, uh, possible nga na ma-encounter mo siya. Ano yung an ano yung contingency plan, contingency management theory mo. So kumbaga, 'di ba, sa events management, uh, kunwari uh, tawag dito uh, umulan ah uh, de, de ba sa events management na may wedding, de ba? so ah uh, yung pagkain is bilang lang para dun sa mga bisita. pero ang contingency plan mo is mag uh, ano ka mag uh, additional ka na ten meals para sa if ever na may mga kasama nga. so yun yung tinatawag na contingency plan. okay yung contingency management theory. so how will you solve a problem na hindi mo pa ina expect na dadating? So, yan. Dapat ready ka dyan. Okay? So, yan. End of module 1. So, nakaka-apekto siya sa management natin. Up to now. Relate talaga siya. Kasi, kung mapapansin nyo, ngayon, pag ikaw mag a ng trabaho, hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng ikaw as, uh, eto lang ah, uh, example lang naman eto. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-apply sa isang mataas na posisyon kung alam mo hindi ka qualify sa posisyon na yun. So, dun pa lang nakuha nila yung idea doon sa mga tourists na napag-aralan natin. Diba? So, sa staffing, diba? So, yung uh, uh, functions of management, yung planning, staffing, diba? Organizing, controlling. Na-mention yan dyan sa mga tourists na yan. Okay? Talagang... Uh, na-encounter -e natin siya at talagang nangyayari siya sa atin. Okay? Sa pagmamanage natin sa isang bagay, di ba? Ikaw as individual, paano mo nga ba i-manage yung sarili mo? Di ba? From, uh, ikaw as a student, di ba? Parang ang, ang plano mo, ang goal mo is makatapos ng pag-aaral para makahanap ng trabaho. Na magandang trabaho, di ba? So, yun, through management, so, magagawa, maaating mo siya, magiging successful siya. Kasi, uh, na-apply mo yung planning, yung pag-organize, di ba? Pagpa-plano, di ba? So, for example, naisip mo na, uh, di ba, sa pamilya nyo, uh, may financial problem. Naisip mo na mag magtrabaho, mag-part-time. So, through, plan, through planning and organizing, controlling, Diba, na gagawa mo yung isang trabaho na mamanage mo siya ng maayos. Yung na mamanage mo yung pag-aaral mo at saka yung pagtatrabaho mo. So, parang ganto siya. Talaga nag-a-apply talaga siya sa'yo as individual. So, as individual pa lang. Diba? How come pa pagdating sa isang business? Diba? Sa isang kumpa kumpanya. Diba? Sa company, nag-apply ka. Paano pag ikaw pa yung naging manager? Diba? So, yan. Na, na encounter natin dito. Okay, so I hope na naintindihan natin yung uh, yung discussion. So, kung meron man kayong uh, clarification, may questions, so let's meet in Google Meet. O, diba? Let's meet in Google Meet. Diba? So, ano, tulungan tayo, okay, para mas maintindihan natin yung discussion natin. So, thank you. Everyone and salam. Ah, thank you and salamat, de ba? Ang kulit. So thank you po and so goodbye. Okay.